When you quit school or finish school, the first thing your old man says, well, you gotta get a job. So you're forced to take a job. So you're forced to practically work for nothing for a year or two <clears throat> before you smart up and go to Alberta, I guess. But then there's always a class coming out every year that their old man tells them you gotta get a job. <laughs> so they go for nothing for a while. The population is on a decrease. It's unbelievable. Coastal communities. Uh, I think over the long term, what we're going to find uh, is uh, it's going to be one of the great strengths of the economy of our province. But it's clear that the federal government is, is, is changing the way where the responsibility lies to manage all these resources. It's just the way that the money is split. The guy at the top takes practically all. The guy working in the stern of the boat gets nothing. I mean, fisheries, um, 40 years ago, they worked with you, not against you. They didn't treat you like a criminal, they, they looked after you. The fishermen need to take control of their, of their fishery, of their industry. They need to join an organization. They need to be leaders in that organization. Basically, we have to move into the 21st century. Uh, The end result of what the government's looking for is a quota system. Quota, that's the last thing you want to hear. Quota is bad, it just ended up the bad. Every other industry that went to quota, the rich ended up buying the whole thing up. Right. The guys with money are going to are going buy to your quota. When they talk about unemployment reform, what do we have? Who manufactures in Nova Scotia? Right? Who? Nobody. Right? You know what I mean? We have no oil, we have no gas, right? We have nothing besides this. So in terms of January 1, 2013, and just to put a fine point on it, will this affect you? I'll make a little bet with you in a year from now, if you have any hair, it'll be snow white. <laughs>